Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is another episode of the world famous The University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call the show Online Marketing Moves and we are coming to you live today. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we are coming to you from the very warm, the very sunny uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, about six hours ago, I was in Tennessee I was driving home. I was uh, I was in Tennessee. It was snowing. I was doing about 20 miles an hour on the highway. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to give you a driving tip. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, I'm going to give you a little driving tip from me to you, okay? If you're ever traveling in a far, in a far distance, and you come across some snow, you know, a little snow, uh, maybe a little rain. If you go at a slow pace, doesn't matter if you do 50, 40, 30. If you go at a slow pace, after, after a while, most of the time, it's not like it's going to be snow from here to 200 miles down the road. You know what I mean? A lot of times, if you just keep it steady, keep it slow... You'll get you'll get about 60, 70 miles down the road. There'll be no there'll be no more snow, okay? The first, let's see, it took me like two hours to drive, probably 30 miles, something like that. But then once I got once I got past and I I'm talking to you like you I'm talking to you like you know the whole Tennessee layout, okay? <laughs> so so just go go with it, okay? Now, in Tennessee, I was in Middle Tennessee, okay? Middle Tennessee, they have mounts. I was going from, like, Nashville down to Chattanooga to the chat, okay? And so they have a mountain. So, you know, I'm driving real slow, doing about 20, 30. Then I got up the mountain. There was less snow because they put a lot of salt on the ground. Thank you, Tennessee Department of Transportation. Put a lot of, put a lot of salt on the ground. Got up over the mountain, down the mountain. And then after that, we was good to go. Once I got into Georgia, I was doing 60, 65, you know, and uh, that was that. So always remember, uh, it's sort of like a life, okay? The storm will not be there forever, okay? The storm will be, the storm will come and it'll rain on your head and it'll rain and it'll rain. You think, will it ever stop raining? And before you know it, it will stop raining, okay? And now, ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to talk about something very important. We are here to talk about why you should take advantage of you should take advantage when the iron is hot okay you should you should always take advantage of you know let's say you and the reason why i bring this up is, is because last week or maybe it was two weeks ago two weeks ago i uh my friend he sent me a clip i didn't know what was going on he sent me a clip clip of a comedian cat williams and apparently, Cat Williams went on this podcast, and he went on a whole um, he went on a whole two and a half hour thing about comedians and and people being plants and things of that nature. And I chuckled at first. I saw my friend. He sent me the thing, and I said, "Well, let me go watch thirty minutes of it." I watched thirty minutes of it, and I said, "Well, this is <laughs> this is pretty funny. This is pretty interesting, you know." So I went. And watch the, the the whole thing. Of course, you know, you gotta you gotta I like to speed I like to speed any podcast I listen to up. So, you know, two and a half hours can turn into an hour, you know? So I listened to it and I was like, wow, that's fascinating. He had he had a lot to get off his chest. And uh, you know, the podcast by now it's it's probably been watched by like forty million people, something like that, forty five million people, something like that. And I got to thinking about that and I'm like you know, with the podcast, what are they going to do? You know, are they going to bring back, are they going to bring back, because it would be, you know, the, to, to strike while the iron is hot, the podcast, if you bring back the guests that he, he talked bad about, if you brought them back to interview them, you know, that would be like, you know, kind of like, hey, let's take advantage of this situation, you know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a whole thing. And I got to thinking about, I saw this article about an actress named Taraji P. Henson. She said, you know, she fired her team after she was on the TV show Empire. My parents my parents enjoyed that show. I never saw it, but 
they claimed they liked it. And, uh, you know, she, she said she fired them because they didn't strike while the iron is hot. And then I saw another article about this actress. She was in American Pie, Jennifer Coolidge. And she said that her and her manager or whoever, they didn't take advantage of her getting more roles, I guess, after the American Pie, you know, the the early 2000s, I guess. And I just got to thinking, sometimes when something when something good when something good happens to you, you have to you have to follow up, and you have to keep you have to keep striking that iron. It's like there's a reason why if you have a website or anything like that, or you have a business and you're doing business with people, always, always, you know, because the hardest thing to do is sell something to somebody. The hardest thing to do is make the first sale, and then after that. You can do you can follow you can do a follow up sale or an upsell. You know, it's like, you, you know, you you go you go to Walmart and you see all the snacks in, in the front in the front of the aisle. You see, you know, Walmart knows. Hey, you come to, you come to shop, and the the front of the, the front of the aisle, the snacks, the the cookies, the the cupcakes, the sodas. That's the that's the upsell. That's the hey. I know you spent a hundred dollars on groceries, and you you might be tired. Why not drink this drink this drink or eat this snack? You know, a little more a little more upselling. You know, and uh, it's the same as you if you if you have two books and you you're selling a book and let's say you have a book on sale for the month, you sell that book. Somebody types in, they they click, they sell. You sell the book. You can always come back and you say, hey, you know, you bought this book. You want to buy this book at forty percent. You know, forty percent off or thirty percent off or whatever. You know, do you want to buy the second book? You get the second book for half the price. Whatever, yada yada yada. The point is, you have to strike while the iron's hot. If you make a sale or you do business with people, you always want to go and say, "Hey, do you know anybody else that is looking for dot dot dot? You know anybody else who is looking for? You know anybody else who is looking for this kind of client work? Whether it be, let's say, you want to do voiceover." Do voiceover. You know anybody else who's looking for a voiceover? Dot, dot, dot. You know anybody who's looking for, you know, audio engineer? Dot, dot, dot. You know anybody who's looking for, you know, anybody else want to want about life insurance? Dot, dot, dot. You know, strike while the iron's hot. Strike where you have them right there, you know. You don't want to come back six months later. Hey, you remember me? I don't know if you remember me or not, but, dot, dot. You know, no, do it right then and there, you know. And why? Because you already have their attention; they're already buying from you. So why not take advantage? And it's not, and it's not. I shouldn't use the word taking advantage because not taking advantage. It's just like, hey, you're in the position. You have that. You 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 already made a purchase. You already made a sale. Let's see if we you can get another one. Strike while the iron's hot. You always want to take advantage of. When I say take advantage. You understand what I'm saying? We're not talking about scheming people out of money. We're just talking about the op. When there's an opportunity, you know, if if you if you if you run a business, if you own a business, and I give you an example, when my wife my wife my wife was my wife was great at selling. Uh, when I used to go to her uh, store, she she had a store. She taught people of all ages how to cook, and my wife she was good at she was she was always good at. You know, people would come for a class and she would talk to them about, hey, you know, we do birthday parties, you know, blah, 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 blah. She would tell them, you know, you can sign up for the members. I remember because when COVID hit, she had to do a little pivoting because you what you wasn't going to be able to do as many birthday parties just because, you know, the COVID and all that. And so I remember she said, I got to get my memberships up. So she really drove home the fact she said, hey, we have this membership that you can sign up for. It is a uh, what is it, six feet of space or whatever COVID was six feet of space. We do you know uh, smaller classes, you know dot dot dot. And she almost doubled. I think it went from like twenty five to fifty, maybe like a hundred kids. You know signed up for this uh, program. And I thought, man, my wife is my wife is pretty good at at uh, at this selling. You know, and sometimes you. And she always did it when they were right there. It wasn't, hey, let me call you back in three weeks. Hey, you remember you took this class three weeks ago? No. 
She always pitched them when they were right there, you know, because you already have the credit card, you know. And so, and sometimes the best time to sell, sell to somebody is right after they bought something because it's like when you go to Foot Locker, you know, you ever go to Foot Locker and you buy shoes. I remember when I used to be, I remember when I was younger and I cared about, <laughs> when I cared about fashion, how, and how I was dressing, I, I would go to Foot Locker, buy shoes, and, and every time they would always say, hey, you want some, because, uh, you know, I would buy, when I was young, I would buy white, like white Reeboks and whatnot, white shoes, because, you know, you got to look, you got to look, you got to look cool. And I would buy that, and, and immediately, as soon as I, they, you know, doop, hit the thing, and they say, hey, we got this uh, shoe cleaner over here. Do you want to buy some, you know? And the best time to sell that kind of stuff is when you're buying the shoes. I'm not going to come back to Foot Locker, you know, um, two, three months later and be like, oh, I need to buy that shoe cleaner, you know? No, I have the money now. I'm going to buy the shoe cleaner now because I'm buying the shoes right now, you know? And so I understand the 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 striking while the iron is hot. So, you know, whether it be a movie role, whether it be a dry cleaning business, wh whatever kind of business you're in, if you make a sale, always be looking to make another one. You know, say, hey, let me work. Hey, let's work together again. Hey, do you have any projects? Do you know anybody who ha has any projects? The point is you always want to be... You always want to, you always want to have work, you know. Um, ain't nothing, ain't nothing like running a business and you got nothing going on. <laughs> it sucks. Listen, it sucks. Okay. Um, it's like, uh, it's like, um, it's like owning a owning a tractor trailer. Okay, I give you an example. I got a first-hand experience. You own a tractor trailer. You go to you, you know, you set a load up. You want you want to go to, we'll say Iowa. You know, you get the load. You're going to Iowa, and what you want to do immediately, immediately, before you get to Iowa, you know, you know, why you're picking up that load, going to Iowa. You want to be getting a load coming out of Iowa. You know, it's like. You don't want to get the hour, get, you don't want to get the hour, get unloaded, and you have no load. You're going to be, because then you're going to get, you know, the, the, one of the keys to business that people don't really think about is neediness. You know, the more, if you, if you're kind of desperate, you'll take low, lower paying gigs, you know, if you're kind of, if you feel like, oh, I, I need, I need, I need this, I need that, you know. If you feel kind of needy, you will you will you will get taken advantage of more more often than if you have if you have work in the pipe in the pipeline, you know. When somebody comes to you and they says, "Hey, can you uh, draw me a, a a cartoon? I give you fifty cent." You go, "No, I'm, I'm too busy for that. Get out of here." You know, like get out of here. Like, why, why would you even do that? But if you're like, if you haven't had to work in them, in, you know, a couple weeks, and somebody comes and say, "Hey, I get two bucks if you draw this drawing," you're like, "The deal!" And it's like, you know, you're doing all this hard drawing work for two, for two dollars. Like, come on now. So, always have always have stuff in the work. You know, always be, you know, always you know take advantage. You know, always you see somebody, you work with somebody. You know, say, "Hey, do you know anybody else?" Or you know, just always constantly. The more you have. Hey, Listen, it's just like you go to any grocery store. What, grocery stores, what do they want? Foot traffic. The better the foot, the more foot traffic, the more they know people are going to come in there. Nobody, not that many people are going to the grocery store to walk around, look, at the, look around, and then walk out the grocery store. You know what I mean? Not too many people are doing that, you know, unless you're just one of these people. It's like you go to the mall, you know. Uh, people got to go in the store, look a little bit, you know, walk out. You know, you want to, that's why they, as soon as you get in there, they're like, hey, do you need some help? It's annoying, but if you think about it from a business or a marketing perspective, it's like, all right, I understand why. I understand why as soon as you walk in there, they want to they wanna try to help you because the goal is not for, hey, we had a hundred, we had a thousand people to walk into the store today. The goal is to, to at the end of the night, when you're doing the receipt, 
you want to make sure you have enough money to keep the business going, you know. So, you know, strike while the iron's hot, you know. If you come, if you if you happen to be on TV or if you happen to, you know, do something, you know, with, with a celebrity or anything like that, always be thinking, how can I monetize this? How can I, you know, take pictures, you know, you know, we won't get it. We won't get into it today, but, you know, if you stand amongst, if you, you know, that's why people, unfortunately, you know, it's a lot of scam scammers out here these days. You know, they, 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 they want to take a picture with a celebrity so they can be like, hey, look, I took, I've, I've eaten lunch with uh, blah, 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 blah. But that doesn't have, you know, just because people are scammers don't mean, you know, you ain't, you, we know you ain't a scammer. If you listen to this program, you're definitely not a scammer, okay? <laughs> But, you know, uh, the social proof, the celebrity proof, all that stuff, you know, so anytime you get a chance to do, anytime you get a chance to really go up with your business, always be ready to um, to do that, you know, always be ready to strike, you know, while, while it's hot, you know. Um, what, the, what they say, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready, you know what I mean? So... So think about it like that. Um, I mean, because when I when I watched that Cat Williams interview, I was like, he should be touring tomorrow. You know, like if he had a tour tomorrow, that'd be that'd be awesome. He would he would sell out every every show easily. But I'm pretty sure he he would have a tour, you know, and talk about his interview some 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 point this year. You know, because I mean, why not? Um, you have to seize, you know. You ever think about it? You have to you have to seize moments. You know, life. You know, you don't you don't realize sometimes that there are moments in life, and it's like, all right, this is a moment. You know, like, you know, you know me personally. I believe in the good Lord, uh, Lord Almighty, and it's like sometimes he he will show you an opportunity, and when you're younger. You, you don't necessarily, you don't necessarily, you don't see it sometimes. You just like, you just think that it's always going to be there. And then before you know it, you get, you, you're like 35, 45, 55, 65. And you're like, I remember, I think I had an opportunity one time and I don't know what happened. But. So it's just, you know, just be mindful no matter what age you are, you know. And never never get down about you know oh man i haven't done anything i'm 50 or i'm you know please you don't realize if you know you might hey you might have missed the opportunity but i'm gonna tell you like this don't miss the next one okay and you don't realize how many great things you have already done in life because a lot of times people look at especially now people look at other people on social media and go oh they're doing this they're doing that i'm not doing it i'm not doing enough Listen, you're doing plenty, okay? So don't don't think, oh, man, this person has this, this person has that, you know? A lot of times on social media, you know, it's not real. So don't even worry about it. And the more you, the more, the more you focus on your business and the less you focus on social media, the less you focus on a lot of nonsense, you won't have, you won't have the, near the, the time to be worried about what other people are doing anyway, all right? And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. And ladies and gentlemen, I know uh, lately we've been a little hit and miss, but we won't be hitting and miss anymore. We got to rock and roll, so we'll be here. Uh, we'll, we'll be back with all new episode this week, later on in the week, Wednesday, of, of uh, another episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless. And as always, everybody, peace. <laughs>